Hey guys, today we're going to talk about something very interesting. Today we're going to be talking about a very known literary device called personification. What is personification? It's when we talk about an inhuman object like it's a human. It's like saying a tree can dance in the wind. But trees can't dance, so this is personification. People usually use personification in books, songs, and even movies. Here are a few examples. It's like in Michael Jackson's Thriller. If you start to freeze, as someone looks you right between the eyes, you're paralyzed, because this is evil. But horror really can't just look you in the eyes, so this is personification. Like in Beauty and the Beast, when that little teapot just keeps jumping around. Authors and songwriters use personification to make their books and songs sound better. In the book, The Day the Crayons Quit, a crayon can actually quit, can it? Or in the song Fireflies by Alice City. Cause I get a thousand hugs from ten thousand lightning bugs Cause they tried to teach me how to dance Lightning bugs can't actually hug people. Remember that really annoying song about the duck? A duck walked up to a lemonade stand And he said to the man running the stand Hey, bump, 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 got any grapes? That's personification, because a duck can actually talk. Another example of a song is by Flo Rida. You know I know how to make them stop and stare as I saw So a club couldn't be able to handle him. Someone who used personification quite often is the author Dr. Seuss. Most of his books were about animals, but animals can't even talk, so personification. Our last example is a book written by Shel Silverstein. The Giving Tree is a book where a boy and a tree are best friends. The tree tells the boy that he can take whatever he wants from him. We hope you guys learned a lot about personification. Please subscribe and like the video, and if you want to see more videos about literary devices, please click here.